Hello, I'm Benji Su, Chief Curator at Art Curation International. Today I'm interviewing two artists I have curated for and closely mentored throughout much of their careers to chat about their rather unusual pathways to success in the art world and also what makes their art approach unique. I knew that this was a natural morphing for me to go from assemblage work, which I did for many, many years, and now I don't do it all anymore because I'm so fascinated about sculpting with light and energy. So it's it's like it's like harnessing the this basic nature of existence, energy and light, mm -hmm. and making art with it. Um, to me, it just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I spoke to neurologists, and they said, "Well, it is what it is. You know, you 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 banged your head for." 12, 15 years, and and of course now you have your brain is now injured. So we don't quite have the technology to diagnose you, let alone give you a solution to here's here's how to cure you. Um, so I, I went on my own journey, and I found art. I had gone through a, a considerable amount of mental anguish and and everything that kind of comes with brain injuries. Um, I found. Um, with my time playing the NFL, I was done with pharmaceuticals. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. So I had to find my own way. So painting as, as a form of meditation, it, it came natural to me. The, first of all, I hope the viewer feels the, the energy that we put in, into these paintings. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, the, and the amount of, of healing and, and, and angst and everything that it, it's not just one emotion that's put into a painting. Life has an amazing array of contrasts and, and, and textures and all these things, and I hope that's what the viewer takes away from, from our art. Um, so my hope is that people will take away all of that, some spirit, some hope, some light, in a world that can be very dark, especially these days. I really am all about bringing light to the world.